Hey, what's up, y'all? And of course, welcome to another Alternative Factuals video. Happy Black History Month. Let's get into this WandaVision. Matter of fact, please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel. And let's get into this WandaVision. So, oh my God, bro. WandaVision Episode 7. It's here. Finally, it's here. Like, my bad. I'm over here peeking crazy. All right. All right. So, this is by far this show is just killing the game like i just want you to understand how excited i am for this and let me let me calm down let me calm down, let me calm down. all right cool episode seven was incredible so let's recap basically wanda did expand the hex to take over the shield base that was in the general vicinity now of course the dude who's running that whole operation didn't get caught obviously that would probably be you know kind of suck if he actually got caught up in it because then at that point the the show will kind of be uh, i won't say over but things wouldn't progress quite the same but darcy gets pulled in we know for a fact that vision is bound to the reality that wanda has created but he's still a sentient being meaning it's probably likely that's his body but she made it so that way he cannot leave that bubble for some reason but let's kind of move on from that we catch up monica rambo is getting this uh the space rover and it looks like um basically that they're trying to use that to penetrate the hex after it expanded because remember her and agent Wu, they were able to escape so the fact that they were able to escape and then also shield isn't kind of on their back because she has a favor or she knows friends because her mother knew pretty much everybody because she was the founder of sword because of the whole interaction with captain marvel in the captain marvel movie okay then so she kind of goes inside well she's attempting to go inside but then you figure out that you know the not only did the hex expand but the density of it changed so she wasn't able to go through with the rover now i'm going to stop right there i'm going to fast forward or move to another part of the story before i get to the juicy succulent part now we move forward and we catch up with darcy darcy runs into vision but she doesn't know who vision is vision just woke up in the area that previously was the shield facility but because the hex was expanded we already know that he was still inside the hex he finds darcy he sees the people there look familiar they look exactly like the people he saw in the shield facility so he puts two and two together the hex was expanded so vision on the other hand recognizes darcy sees that darcy was trying to help him and he tries to communicate at first she didn't recognize him then vision did his thing and woke her up and now they're traveling to try and basically figure out what's going on collectively both of them together now here's the interesting part every time they seem to want to go somewhere to kind of get away from everything events seem to always prevent them from doing so so in reality we know that not only did the hex expand but ultimately the hex is preventing anything that you know i guess anything from happening that would allow vision to either figure out what's going on or to get to a destination where he's not supposed to be so that's the really really cool part now let's head back to the other part the the juicy succulent part now so we see that monica can't get through with that rover so what does she do she does what a hero does and she ran through by herself exposing herself to another dose of cosmic radiation and you see she's fighting her way through trying to get through because the hex is a little bit more dense than it was before she's pushing she's pushing she's pushing and right when she's about to lose herself because you see different variations of herself based on the timeline or whatever kind of reality wanda is making in different variations of her you see she's pushing she's pushing she's pushing and then right when it seemed like she was about to lose herself she pulls it together all her other variations collapse back into her and she comes stepping out her eyes glowing blue and she has like this bluish kind of energy that looks kind of similar to the tesseract but just a lighter blue but at this point spectrum is born monica officially has her powers fully activated so then she runs into town she pulls up she's booking it booking it booking it and then she pulls up to wanda's crib 
Now remember Wanda already she's been struggling all day Because her reality is starting to collapse around her And we're going to catch up to that in a little bit So we see That the, you know, the, that, um, the reality is collapsing But you know basically Monica pulls up She pulls up hard body Once she pulls up hard body She's like yo Wanda you gotta stop this You're hurting people blah 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 And then Wanda's like I don't want to hear this Now that's something a lot of us in the comments Including myself everyone's already confirmed this this reality exists as a way for her to ignore the problems that happen out there in the real world, having to do with the death of her brother, having to do with the death of Vision, all the stuff that's happened with the death of her parents. Everything has been pretty much created as a method to ignore the real world. But back to the story, she does this, right? Then she launches Monica Rambeau, but Monica Rambeau stops pushing back. Meaning the fact that Wanda's powers are trying to force her out the house, which it does. But then by the time they get outside, it seems like Wanda is getting some resistance back from Monica. Once again, her powers kick in. And then when she falls, she lands on her feet and her powers manifest. And then Wanda looks at her strange like, what the hell is going on now? So now we're starting to see her powers are starting to, it's going to kick in. We obviously know that she doesn't have control over it right now. She literally just got it like maybe 20, 30 minutes ago at that point in the episode. But she realizes that her powers are developing. She has powers very similar to hers. Anyways, once they see the fight, once Agnes sees the fight, she looks out the window is like, hmm, she makes a face which confirms that Agnes was the one pulling the strings. Wanda was creating the reality, but Agnes was the one pushing her to do it. But Wanda didn't know that. So Agnes takes her to the side, pulls her into the house, and even though Agnes was able to pull her under some mind control or kind of manipulate, I won't say mind control, but manipulate her emotions, what's really dope is she's Wanda's still kind of snapping out of it she's like where's the kids because in this episode Wanda allowed Agnes to watch her two sons so she's asking where's the kids Agnes is in the kitchen oh they're in the basement she walks to the basement she sees that pretty much everything down there looks like some old like coven like hideout for like witches and a sorceress it looks basically like a traditional practitioner of magic's evil hideout so she gets down there and then agnes pulls up with her bunny and says do you think you're the only one who who's you think you're the only magic girl in town and then looks at her then you see this purple aura it, basically the same aura that you know wanda uses but it's purple and then her wanda's eyes turn purple that comes from agnes and then it flashes back even though Wanda was the one creating the reality, Agnes was the one manipulating Wanda, feeding off her emotions, pushing her to do things, I guess to fall in line with whatever plan that Agnes had. She was the one who made Vision think that he snapped her out of it when in reality, that was never the case. Agnes actually had Vision locked in when he was trying to escape that night when she was in a car on Halloween night, which led to the night before. She was the one who sent Pietro, even though we knew for a fact like Wanda didn't do it because Wanda said she didn't do it. We also knew every time something happened to prevent Wanda from doing something or prevent Vision from doing something, it was Agnes who was pulling the strings. But it was Wanda who was the really pretty much the gun. Agnes was pulling the trigger. Wanda was the gun. So this episode was by far the most interesting. Spectrum, Monica Rambeau, finally, her powers fully are manifesting. We are going to get the Spectrum we love and deserve. We're going to get this Black Queen in this iteration of Marvel. Wanda finally got her interaction with Agnes. Things are starting to collapse in on this vision. So now that if you save for the post credit scene, you see that Monica Rambeau snuck into the house with Agnes after the fight. And then we saw Pietro was there. The one that we thought was the recast. Basically, Agnes put him there and he's, I guess, watching the house. So they both get snatched up. So what we can expect, at least for the next couple episodes, they're going to be a tag team special. Wanda and Spectrum. And oh boy, am I ready for it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this episode. I loved it. I had to stay up and record this video. Let me know down in the comments. 
and please if you're new to the channel like share and of course subscribe and i'll see you later on man i gotta i gotta dissect all this peace